So you want to get into digital art, but you don't know where to start and you don't know what you need. So I decided to make this video to go over the different hardware, the different softwares that you need, and we'll go through all of them. I'll talk a little bit about my own setup and then finally show you a little bit of beginner friendly things that you need to know once you are in the software. So let's just start with the hardware. There are three types of uh, hardware that you can choose from. The first one is a graphic tablet and it is the most budget friendly one. You can use a graphic tablet to connect to a computer and then you draw on the graphic tablet. The tablet itself does not have a, a screen, so you'll have to use your monitor to see what you're drawing. It could be a little bit uh, difficult at first to get used to because your hand-eye coordination has to get used to it. You're looking at a different screen and you're drawing on the graphic tablet. The graphic tablets are budget friendly and beginner friendly. If you don't want to spend the money and get something expensive, you can start with the graphic tablet to see how that works. Now the second option are the display tablets that connect to a computer. So these display tablets do not work on their own and you do need to have a, a computer connected to it. So the computer, you have the software and everything on it and these display tablets are just connected to it where you can draw on it. And the graphic tablet and the display tablet, they both come with a, a stylus or a pen that you can use to, to draw. What's, what makes these different is the pressure sensitivity because then you can use the features that you have in these softwares where, the, uh, where if you push harder or softer onto uh, the pen, it will give you different results. Finally, the third option is the all-in-one tablet. For example, the iPad. So you can get the iPad and the, even the, the latest model, the iPad has really great reviews for artists and you can use that without the need of any other hardware. It's a self-contained piece and you can use it for drawing. So this really summarizes the different kinds of hardware. So when it comes to graphic tablets, they are the cheapest and then the display and the, and the iPad is probably the most expensive depending on what you go for. When it comes to the graphic and the display tablets, Wacom is the industry standard that being said, XP Pen and Huon make really good tablets, graphic and display tablets for a more reasonable price. And you can start with those if you don't want to invest in a Wacom uh, tablet. So let me talk a little bit about what I have. I have my laptop and I connect my laptop to an XP Pen uh, display tablet, 16 inch, and I use that to, uh, to draw. Okay, now that we have the hardware out of the way, let's talk a little bit about software. So there are a few different options for software. The first one is Photoshop. Photoshop is used a lot, uh, but Photoshop has a monthly fee and you'll have to pay a monthly fee to, to have it. The second option is Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint used to be just a one-time purchase, but I think recently they have changed it. So you can get version one of it as a one-time payment, or you can get the monthly subscription for Clip Studio Paint, and it gives you constant support and any updates that it comes with it. Uh, Clip Studio Paint has now also become very good for, for artists, and it is a great option if you want to use it. And then for iPad users, uh, they can use Clip Studio Paint as well or there is another software or another app, Procreate, and that is also something that is used a lot by iPad users. If you don't want to pay and you're looking for free options, free softwares and free apps, there are some available. One of the uh, available options is Krita, and you can download that and use that free of charge. So now let's look at a little bit once we are inside the software. So this is Photoshop is what I have. I'm going to be very brief with what I show you. So a few things to keep in mind. This, uh, this is the layer part. And what, what's important about the layers is that you can draw or paint whatever you want on a new layer. 
without affecting everything else. So for example, if I create a new layer and I draw something here and then draw another layer, let's go for example with the red and I draw on top of it and then I don't like it, I can simply delete, delete that layer and then I keep whatever I had before. Uh, the next thing I'll show is the different kinds of brushes. So two things to keep in mind. There is a hard round brush is one of the basic ones. And as you can see, that's the hard round brush. And then the soft brush, as you can see, it is a lot softer compared to that other one. Let's go back to the hard round brush. Two more important things to keep in mind. And this is where it is important to have a tablet is the opacity and the line thickness control. So if I have this is, as you can see, it's called the opacity control. And then this is the line thickness control. And I have the pressure sensitivity on both of them off for now. And this is what you see. So if I have them both off, and if I push hard or soft, it will always be the same size. Now, if I turn on the opacity, opacity control, if I push softly, as you can see, the color doesn't transmit a lot. And, as the, and the harder I push, the more of the color you'll see. And then, if we go towards the line thickness control, similar idea. If I push really softly, it's really thin. And the harder I push, the bigger the line gets. And then of course, you can have both of those on at the same time. And you can see when I'm pushing it softly, it is both thinner and less opacity and the harder I push, the darker the color gets and the thicker it becomes. So using these simple information, you can really start painting and you can research online to find tutorials on YouTube on how to draw and how to paint in digital art. But uh, this with these simple basic tools you can really do anything you want and then one more thing to add is the layer type there are a few different kinds of layer modes here so the normal as you can see it was just normal you draw anything you want then the other important one is the multiply and multiply just from the, the name of it uh, as you can guess it multiplies the two colors and really darkens it. So it's very useful when you're doing shadow. So you can see I'm adding a light blue color, but because the red was already dark, it, it becomes, it mixes those colors and becomes darker. So this is the actual color that I'm using. When I put it here, you can see that it is very dark. Uh, the next layer mode that is also important um, or a few that you can you can play around with overlay soft light and hard light so those are used to add uh, when you want to add light to your painting so let's go a lighter color here so this is the overlay you can see it doesn't do too much but the same one with hard light it does a lot more so you can play around with that so let's go even lighter so if this is in hard light, it looks like that. If it is in soft light, it's just a little bit lighter. And then if we go overlay, that's what it becomes. So let's put all of this in practice just to give you an idea how this works. So for example, if we want to shade a sphere, let's say that is the color of it, then what we can do, we add another layer, something, another uh, nice tip is we can lock it by clicking the Alt key uh, to the original layer. And what that does, I can only paint on top of this, right? So then 
we can turn this to the multiply mode and we go and put the pressure sensitivity on for both of those layers and using the multiply mode we can for example say there is shadow here right and then we can add another layer and turn that one into overlay and add a little bit of light at the top and right now you see it's very patchy so what we can do is select a soft brush and do the same thing so go to the multiply and using a soft brush you can see that the transition is a lot smoother so then the overlay you can do the same thing right and then we can also merge these lines all these layers if we wanted to at the end if we don't want to have multiple layers and then we can just color like this go that is simply put putting these principles into practice of how to use simple brushes and the different layers uh, i hope this uh, video was helpful in getting you started uh, i will be doing a lot of guides and tutorials and tips and tricks with digital art so if you want to see more, please uh, subscribe and follow me and you'll be able to see a lot more videos uh, where I go in depth and in detail on how to draw and paint. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.